All right, guys, October 6th and another movie review. I need to stop touching my face. Another horror movie review, but I didn't get to watch a movie again last night. So like the last time I talked about a movie that I watched a million times in the past, I'm going to talk about another movie that I watched a million times in the past that I really, really love. And that movie is The Devil's Rejects. And this is a movie directed by none other than Rob Zombie. The shock rocker himself. So if you don't know who Rob Zombie is, he is what I call kind of shock rock uh, musician. He's a singer. <laughs> the band, he's in the band Rob Zombie. He was in the band White Zombie. And um, I've actually got to see him in person, uh, seeing them perform live at a concert. So it was pretty awesome too. And uh, anyway, Rob Zombie, uh, a really good musician if you're into rock music. And, you know, he's got the kind of spooky uh, theme to his music and to his music videos and all that. Kind of like Alice Cooper back in the day. Uh, I know he's a big inspiration to Rob Zombie. But anyway, um, Rob Zombie decided to direct some movies. And the first big movie that he directed was House of a Thousand Corpses. And I remember all the hype when that movie came out and everything, but I never did get to see it, you know, in theater, like when it came out. But uh, I was still in school at the time, like in high school, but I remember uh, being being pretty excited about it. Anyway, uh, I do remember the first time I saw a part of that movie. Uh, that's a memory to me, uh, visiting an aunt, like in Peoria. And, you know, I always wanted to hang out wherever people hung out. Sorry, I'm touching my nose again. I need to stop that, but... Um, you know, I always hung out like where other teenagers hung out. There's a place I think called like Marcy's Pizza, Darcy's Pizza or something. And they had like arcade games there and kids would hang out there and they were playing House of a Thousand Corpses. So I remember, you know, some of the ending scenes of that. I don't think I sat and watched the whole thing, but anyways, in House of a Thousand Corpses, uh, we're introduced to a group of people called the Firefly family and, um, they basically are a bunch of psycho killers and uh there's like the the mom and dad or the grandpa and grandpa or i don't remember how they're all related or all of them but uh the big ones are uh otis and there's a baby which is basically sherry moon who's rob zombie's wife and uh, uh i remember someone telling me not that long ago that they thought that she was rob zombie's daughter but no she's his wife and she does she is younger than rob zombie but she looks really young for her age and she's actually older than probably a lot of people would think but um anyways we're introduced to the firefly family and the house of a thousand corpses is more like a music video style to where it's very artsy and colorful it's very strange but it's a good movie i think it's pretty good the devil's rejects is basically kind of like a sequel to that but it's not as artsy and stuff it's more a grisly like slasher kind of movie and um it's, it's pretty interesting the contrast between them now there's a third one in the trilogy that has came out that i haven't seen and it's called i think three from hell and uh, basically the three main characters or they added a new character because one of the character one of the actors that played in the movie uh, died this actor that played captain spaulding he uh, he's a killer that likes to paint his face like a clown um but there's a lot of crude humor and really crazy stuff and i'll just talk about some of the scenes and some of the things that i really loved about the devil's rejects and i'll probably get the case and look at it in a little bit but you know it's interesting that on the cover of it it says two thumbs up by ebert and roper so that's pretty big i didn't even realize you know that that, that it got that that's a pretty big statement i think um it's not like the best horror movie of all time or anything but there's stuff that I really enjoyed in it. Um, so there's a couple of kids that are like captured in the House of a Thousand Corpses. House of a Thousand Corpses that are killed and and basically, you know, yeah, so they're basically killed and uh, that's kind of the plot of that. But there is a police officer that tries to intervene or something and he got killed and I think that his brother is still alive. And he's a police officer and like he's wanting revenge and the devil's rejects and that's one of the main plot points that i really like this movie the devil's rejects also has danny trejo and diamond dallas page the wrestler ddp who does ddp yoga now that was like the first movie i've ever seen him in i don't know if he's had any roles in anything else but 
because I'm a huge wrestling fan, I'm, I like that. And it's not a huge role, but he does, he plays like a bounty hunter. Him and Danny Trejo are bounty hunters uh, to, to kill the Firefly family. So they have different people after them. They, they've made a bunch of enemies. But the interesting thing too is unlike Jason or unlike Halloween where, you know, you don't really know much about the killers or you learn little bit by little bit, these people have a lot of dialogue and the movie follows them. And so you get to know these characters and at times even they might try to make you feel bad for these characters or feel the emotions these characters are feeling, but it's like they're psychos, <laughs> they're murderers, so you can't really have emotions for them. Um, so yeah, let's, whoops. I dropped her. All right. You dropped her. Bad. That was his fault. It says you'll get creeped out big time by Peter Travers of the Rolling Stone. And I thought that was interesting because Peter Travers commented on Cabin Fever. So that must be a guy in the Rolling Stone that's like a, the, horror, the horror movie reviewer or something. Um, but there's the cover of the movie close up. And I think Otis is the name of the main guy that's the killer. I think they call her baby. That's Sherry Moon, Rob Zombie's wife. And that's the guy that's Captain Spaulding. Uh, they're the main ones, basically, in this one, too. Um, let's see. Let's see what it says on the back. It says, ambushed at their homestead by Sheriff White L, who's the sheriff's the guy that's wanting to avenge his brother or whatever, I think, and come after them. Um, I don't, I think he was killed in the House of Thousand Courses. Maybe he was killed in the beginning of this one, but I think that he was killed in the first movie. In a squad of armed men, the Firefly family awakens with guns blazing, yet only Otis and his sister, Baby, manage to escape unharmed, taking refuge of hostages in a back road motel. Uh, the wanted siblings rendezvous with their deranged partner in crime, Captain Spaulding, killing whoever happens to stand in their way. But as the body count mounts higher, Sheriff Wydell decides to cross the line and take the law into his own hands, paving the way for one of the most depraved and terrifying showdowns in cinematic history. And that's one of the things that I really love about this movie. Yes, they kill some more people in this movie, actually in some brutal murder scenes and some disturbing stuff. Um, but... And I think, like, one of them, like, kills, like, they capture a couple or something or p friends or people that are related or something. I don't know. But they kill one of them and they, like, take their skin off and they, they put it on their face and, like, like leather face or whatever, you know, sick, crazy stuff. But just to give you an idea of some of the sick stuff that's in this movie. But... Yes, the, the sheriff's on their ass, and the sheriff's also, like, he's, like, obsessed with wanting to kill these guys. And uh, there, it comes to a showdown, basically, to where, like, he ends up becoming, like, a psycho. And he, like, captures them, and, like, he has them, like, tied to chairs, and he, like, tortures them. He, like, shows them, I think he shows them, like, pictures of, like, their victims, and he's like, what do you think about this? And he, like, staples it to their forehead. He, like, busts bottles over their head. <laughs> he's, like, drinking getting drunk, like pissed off, and he's just like torturing them, and it's almost like, yeah, this is awesome, like this is, you're like, yeah, it's like over the edge, but man, these people are sick too, he's just giving it back to them, but they do end up escaping though, and I think that he ends up getting killed, so spoiler alert, <laughs> too late, sorry, but uh, also, and he's the sheriff in the background right there that showed on the trailer, but uh, anyways, and he's, he's a, the acting is good, he's a good uh, actor, I think the acting by all of these are good, really. The, the acting is good, the directing's good, and the music, you know, it's been a while since I've seen it. Like I said, it's been years. I need to watch it again, but it, I used to just repeat this in my DVD player over and over again. So I really need to see that third one, but I got a feeling I still might like this one more. But some people like House of a Thousand Corpses more, and I love it, like, almost equally, but I've always, I this one, I guess, stuck out to me a lot more, but... There is an epic scene. The ending of this movie comes down to the final shootout with the police and these three killers are in like a convertible, I think, and they're driving down the road and the police have the road blocked and the killers are like, screw it, like we can't like get away or whatever, so let's just go in guns a blazing and they just like drive into the police line and they just get lit up with bullet holes and they're just they just get shot to bits. And they all die. So 
the three from hell, I don't know how that starts, like if they somehow get resurrected or something, but obviously they were riddled with bullet holes in the end of this, so. But and again, in horror movies, plots and logic and reasoning and everything doesn't always have to make sense, so who knows. But, um, yeah, man. And just, just to see how sick and twisted that, that sheriff gets, like, when he finally, like, snaps, it's just awesome. The acting's awesome. Oh, man. The Devil's Rejects. This movie makes me feel old, because, you know, it was, it's been out for a while. Hmm. But made by Rob Zombie. It says 2005 for this one. So it's like the year after Cabin Fever. So these were right around the same time. I was pretty much addicted to these movies. Oh. Anyway, I don't know what else to say. There's some creepy stuff in here. And as much as I say it's like sick in the minute and stuff, it doesn't even touch cold fish. So, I mean, this is like a, an average, like, like sick in an average way, like you would see in like an American theater. But the, the Asian stuff, like cold fish, is just on another level. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, th I think it says a lot for Rob Zombie to be so, so successful as a musician. And, you know, he definitely has his creativity, uh, his artistic side and how um how he's such a good director also you know he also made a couple halloween movies he's made some other movies that i haven't seen um the lords of salem i haven't heard a lot of good things about that but uh but i mean he did make some really good ones so you got to give him credit it makes me think of kind of like chris jericho how i'm a huge wrestling fan and chris jericho is like a legend now at this point he's like a veteran in wrestling but uh, he also went on to start Fozzie and be the singer of that rock band. And, and it's a legitimately good band. And, you know, he's made like multiple albums now. And I know a lot of people that aren't even into wrestling. And they say they've been to concerts and they went, they went to see like a bigger band. And Fozzie opened for them. And like Fozzie was like the best part of the experience. <laughs> and it's like, it's pretty cool when, you know, they go on to dominate different, different, uh, things so anyway check it out if it sounds like it's up your alley it's kind of like a slasher serial killer flick but um like it's it's pretty you know there's a lot of funny lines and sick humor i guess but um and there's some action you know a danny trejo and ddp are pretty badass for the the bounty hunters they come in and shake some people up and they're they're out to kill these people but unfortunately unfortunately they don't get them so but there's lots of guns and stuff like that in here too so that's gonna be it guys hopefully i'm gonna actually watch a new movie next time but this definitely deserves worth talking about so the devil's rejects Rob Zombie. Alright, sayonara guys. Till next time.